road to recovery. Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight. I'm Brooke Anderson in Hollywood. Right now, my Showbiz Tonight exclusive with Eminem. I just went one-on-one -on -one with Eminem at LA Staples Center. Right before he took the stage, he was there for Activision's E3 kickoff event. Eminem's new track, Won't Back Down, is on the new video game called Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, while Eminem was there to celebrate the release of the new video game, our conversation turned serious when we talked about M's new album, Recovery, and his dramatic brush with death. You've been through a very dark time in your life. You took a five-year hiatus. How did you pull yourself out of that dark time? Uh, well, it was definitely, it was a process, man. It was, it was, um, it took me a, 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 a while to actually admit you know, that I had a problem. I mean, you know, in the hip hop world that I live in, I think that it can be mistaken for weakness. And the last thing you want to do in hip hop is admit that you're weak. But if I didn't admit that I was weak with this certain thing, I was going to die, you know, so. How close did you come? Um, I certainly probably a couple hours away from death. Not to make this too tense of a moment, but yeah, it, uh, I overdosed and, and almost had it. How did you mentally turn it around? Because like you say, you are a strong, tough, macho guy. How did you how did you do it? Um, well, I had to admit that I had a problem. Mm -hmm. I had to um, I think I had to, to I had to be ready for myself. But like I had to be ready for me. I know that it's you know, I don't mean to make it sound cliche, but you have to do it for yourself. You know, you can't do it for other people. And I think that when I went to rehab the first time back in, I think, 2005. I felt like I was doing it for other people. I wasn't doing it for me. So I kind of went in, fought the system, didn't really want to listen to what anybody had to say about it. And I felt like, well, I don't have a problem. Like, these people, you know, I, you know, I, I, I just take this because I just take these pills because I, I, I can't sleep. I have a sleeping problem. I just take, you know, Vicodin for recreation. You know, like, but... An I, excuse for yeah, everything. Definitely. And, you know, then I, I went through a uh, a really rough period after I came home from rehab and, and I um, lost my best friend and kind of uh, the reins were off. It was kind of just like, you know, screw it. This is like, you know, and it, from, from there I really went downhill. And that's when I overdosed got out the hospital, relapsed a short time after that, basically uh, scared on myself and um, went to some people and was like, yo, I got a problem, I need help, I can't beat this on my own. Because the whole time I, was, I think I was thinking that I could, but I couldn't. Okay, I was absolutely blown away by Eminem's dramatic confessions and the fact that he is even alive today after what he went through. Right now in New York is Kathy Aru, who is the publisher of Kevin Lee Magazine. Also right now in New York is Steven Smith, who is a music and pop culture expert. Guys, I gotta tell you, when I was standing there talking to Eminem, it astounded me that this larger-than-life rap phenom actually admitted to weakness, and that admission ultimately saved his life. Steven, are you completely awestruck by Eminem's unbelievable story. I think what he did is very, very strong, and I understand in that community, in the music community in general, in life in general, when you have to say, I have a problem, people think, yeah, I'm broken, but saying there's a problem is a sign that you're healthy, and kudos to him for doing it. It's a very strong thing, and be that guy. Show your fans, so you know fans go through the same thing the artists do, that you can, if you have a problem, admit it and fix it, and fix yeah. it for himself is the best really, thing to do. Really, it shows the opposite, not that you're weak, but that you are strong exactly. and that you are smart, that you can make that admission and go and get help and get help and be healthy. Good, good for Eminem, and I had a great time talking to him. All right.